First Republic shares crash 50%. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because we have another bank in the US that's well, getting into a bit of trouble. Let's jump over here and have a look at this article from news.com.au. First Republic shares plunge 50% after customers yank $150 billion in deposits. So it looks like uh, the consumers don't have confidence in this bank. And this is a bank that well, caters to high net worth individuals. A major US bank could be on the brink of collapse with its shares plunging 50% after customers yanked nearly $150 billion in deposits. Wall Street stocks plummeted on Tuesday as shares of First Republic Bank were battered after an earnings report showed it lost a large amount of deposits, reviving worries over the financial sector. Investors have been eyeing the performance of regional lenders since the dramatic failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank last month which sparked fears of contagion. The beaten down California lender said on Monday that it lost more than 40% of its deposits in the first quarter this year, intensifying concerns about its long-term prospects. First Republic shares sank nearly 50% as of end Tuesday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slumped 1% to 33,530, while the broad-based S&P 500 fell 1.6% to 4,071. The tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite Index plunged 2% to 11,799. While First Republic had reported quarterly profits of $269 million, that data point was overshadowed by its deposit level of $104.5 billion at end of March. This marked a drop of nearly $72 billion from the level at the end of 2022. The actual flight of cash topped $100 billion as First Republic's holdings were bolstered by a US $30 billion infusion of funds announced in March from a consortium of 11 US private banks. Today's brutal sell-off in shares means First Republic has lost more than 90% of its value since early March. Oh, boy. On Monday, First Republic also disclosed it was cutting 20 to 25% of its staff. The dismal figures have prompted fresh talks among private financiers and Washington bank regulators on another initiative to try to stabilize First Republic, the Financial Times reported on Tuesday. We do not see any easy solutions for the bank. And we still see a material probability that there is little left for equity holders once the situation fully plays out. Morningstar analyst Eric Compton said in a note, As we rerun the numbers based on the updated balance sheet, we do not believe First Republic will be profitable on a going forward basis with its current balance sheet. Oh boy. That's that's not going to fill anyone with confidence, is it? Mr. Compton estimated quarterly losses of 400 to 500 million. Regional banks have been under pressure since SVB collapsed. Lenders like Commercia and Key Corp have signaled a weakening, a weakening profit outlook, though they have not been considered unstable. Still on Tuesday, Key Corp, Zion's Bank, Fifth Third Bank, a Bancorp, all lost more than five percent. Western Alliance Bank Corporation dropped five point six percent, while PacWest Bancorp slid eight point nine percent. The financial sector is having a bad day, said Steve Sosnick, chief strategist at Interactive Brokers. He added that other contributing factors, including the disappointing earnings report of logistics giants UPS, UPS shares fell around 10%. UPS is essential to the US economy. If their volumes are disappointing, that doesn't bode well. Meanwhile, traders are set to digest the corporate results of tech firms Microsoft and Google uh, Google parent company Alphabet, reported after the bell so there we have it everyone well let's jump over here first republic share price and we'll go here first republic share price okay so it's eight dollars ten so down down 50 percent today let's have a look at it in a week okay it was 11 15 dollars on the like two days ago on monday a month ago 
Now, oh, look at that. Look at that plunge. Let's go to a year ago. Okay, $162. Let's, let's see what the max data is. Okay, so it was... Okay, 2018, 2019, 2020, $108. And it peaked at $216 during all of the well, the mania in the market, and it just tanked to $8. Wow, that's that's one hell of a move. Well, let's, let's have a bit of a talk about this one, guys. There you go. I saw a comment on Twitter where someone was saying... Uh, they hoped this isn't the end for the bank because they've got their mortgage and their business and everything with this bank. One takeaway is to not have all your eggs in one basket. Even, even though there's government insurance and you're protected for a certain amount, and we saw with SVB, the government stepped in. Even here in Australia, when Pyramid Building Society went under, they stepped in to save all the deposit holders. But you still want to spread your risk to different organizations to spread your access to the insurance provided by the government and other organizations, and also to avoid the all-money in, in clause. And you kind of want to make your bank you know, your bank work for your business, have your, your business accounts and separate from your personal accounts. Have your mortgage somewhere else if you can too. So, I mean, there we go, guys. Another bank in trouble. But, I mean, you know, this is the... It's a commercial bank. I'm reading the Wikipedia entry here and a provider of wealth management services headquartered in San Francisco. It caters to high net worth individuals, 93 offices in 11 states. This isn't an everyday bank, but, I mean, you know, revenue of $1 billion, net income, $1.47 billion. Total assets, $212.6 billion as of 2022, and that's all not looking too good. Anyway, guys, one to keep an eye on. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. As always, thanks for watching. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Does. And if you're a fan and want to support us, you can using our YouTube or Patreon, our affiliate links, buying our pocket squares or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now.